Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bo with Designs by Bo. Guys, I'm pretty new to this whole YouTube thing, so do me a favor and show me some support and some love by clicking the uh, subscribe button. I'll be doing videos, try to release videos every day, all centered around designing an Inkscape. In this video, I'll show you how to make a vector duplicate of a photo. As you can see here, I have this video, I'm sorry, this photo of a fox. And what I'm going to do is make a duplicate copy of it, um, but it actually will be vectorized. So it can be enlarged and reduced in size without reducing any of the quality. It won't be a perfect match, but it'll be close, it'll be vectorized. And you can use this for t-shirt design, for uh, Etsy, printable downloads, and for web designs and different things like that. So let's get started. First thing we do is uh, start off with the photo that you want to vectorize. Then we just go up to paths and click on paths. Go down to trace bitmap. Click on that. Then you'll get this box to trace the bitmap. Clicking these um, options here at the top, brightness cutoff, edge detection, color quantization, it'll give you different effects. But for this tutorial, we'll stick to the uh, multiple scans, create uh, a group of paths. And we're going to go to colors so that we can get this vector image as close as possible to the original and you can play with these depending on how many scans you have that'll determine how large the file is and it'll take a while to process this depending on how large it is um, what we're going to do is where it says update you want to have the image selected and I'm going to go for about 50 scans and what this does is give us 50 color, um, 50 different colors that it'll pick out of this photo to make it as detailed as possible. And then we want to click update. And when it when you click update, it'll show you this live preview of that. And once you get the live preview, you can see about what it will look like. And then you want to click OK. And as you can see, it it's processing. This kind of takes a while at times. And then once it's done processing, you'll have a duplicate copy right on top of that copy. And you just take it, and I'm just going to drag it over to the side just a little so you can see the difference. Now I'll get these a little close to each other and then zoom in a little so you can see the detail on this. And this is actually a vectorized copy of this. I would click on it, but it will it has thousands and thousands of nodes. So it'll take a while for this to actually process. I'll click on it for you guys anyway. You just double click and what it'll do is Double clicking, first of all, will separate all of your layers. At this point, you can pull all 50 of your scan layers apart. And you'll have 50 different cover colors. And each of them will have their own separate image. And they're stacked on each other to give you the original image. And then you hit Control Z will take you back if you make any mistakes or changes and you want to get back to that. So I'll hit Control Z two times and it'll take me back to the original. Sorry. So here's the original image. I'm just going to select all of these and then I'm going to hit Control G to regroup them into one image, not in one image again. But if you double click on the vectorized image, it'll take you 
it'll take all of the images and separate them out into each scan. And then at that point, once you remove one, then it's vectorized. So there's a whole bunch of nodes. So if I, if you then double click on one of the individual, then you'll get the nodes where you can alter all of this and change any of the shapes you want. And then you just click away from the picture to get it back to how it was. And there you have it, guys. There's the easy way to vectorize an image and make a duplicate copy, exact duplicate copy of an image in vector. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I stumbled a lot because I'm new to this whole YouTube video thing, but I'll be doing more videos and hopefully get better with each video and have more professional, more professional presentations for you guys. But what I want to do is thank you. And again, since I'm new to YouTube, I want you guys to please show me some love and support by uh, subscribing to the channel. Show me, uh, welcome me the right way to YouTube and to the community. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Um, I'll try to put out videos daily. So either later today or tomorrow, there will be another video. So subscribe so that you can get notified of all the future videos that I put out. They're all centered around graphic design, mostly using Inkscape. Thank you, guys.